episode six. Um, so in this one, I guess I just want to talk about Medusa. Um, I guess you guys never seen her besides that feeding video that I posted, but you know, I feel like we need to we need to connect with her on the on the deeper level, on a spiritual, emotional, mental, physical level. No, I'm just playing. Um, but yeah, like, you know, let's just, let's just see how she is. Let's just, I don't know. I don't really know. I mean, she's a snake. I, mean, I don't know how much emotional attachment she can't have to us. Maybe she do have emotional attachment. Maybe that's the video I can do. All right, so I don't have my usual tripod so if it's like shaking and stuff like that i'm sorry just like in advance so you guys like you know wouldn't get mad at me or some reason like that but yeah let's get this video on the way Woo! <laughs> all right so yeah this is medusa's enclosure it is hell trying to get her out because look at this it's just jungle like it's all jungle. I don't know if she's in there. I don't know if she's under the bowl. I don't know if she's back there. I don't know if she's in her little hut down there. I don't know if she's under the hut. I don't know if she's like, you know, I don't know where she's at, basically. So, yeah, I'm going I'm to be right back and try, and try and get her out. Let's see how, see how far this goes. So, it wasn't really that bad to get her out, but... I'm just gonna show you what she looked like and she might run out, but boom, there she is in all her glory. All right, so Medusa is what is known as Candodia Aspera. So in the wild of New Guinea to that Solomon Island range, they would eat frogs, lizards, and the occasional small mammal. Um, as of right now, she fed like a week ago, but before then, I didn't have her eat for like a good two months because I was just, I was just pounding her with some rats. I ain't gonna sit here and lie to you. And she was taking them every like, every like two weeks. So I was like, all right, well, let me just slow you down right quick. So, Right now I have her on rat pups, but last week she took a small rat. She's just big and beautiful, man. Like, let me get a closer look. Hopefully she won't she won't run out. But yeah, that's her. She's a okay. Okay, what we doing? What is we doing? But yeah, look at her. She's how can you not not like this face? She's just beautiful. She looks like a little little viper, you know what I'm saying? Hence viper boa. But um, more facts, of course. So in their home range, they're mimicking. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. But yeah, in her home. Oh my God, you can move fast. What is you? Can we can we calm down? Her home range. She's trying to mimic a viper. Um, I forgot what type of viper they're trying to mimic, but they are mimicking a viper <laughs> so they just sit and wait and ambush like she doesn't move at all besides like you know if she needs to go drink some water all right yeah this is gonna be one shot one take so i'm not really trying to like god look how beautiful she is like look at her belly coloring too just crazy she's just she's just a beautiful snake like look at them patterns Look at them, just gorgeous. And just look at her, just, yeah. I'm sorry, I just have to, I don't usually handle her like that because like, she's always so secretive. Ugh. Focus on that head. There we go. But yeah, like I said, so I keep her temperatures usually like around um, 75 degrees. 
and her humidity is usually between like 50 to 70 percent i found out like i don't know this snake is best to be with if you just leave them alone to do their own thing because she's been thriving um she's been here for like at least a year right now and she's a small snake but she grew a lot i'll say about like two or three inches from the first time i had got her because she really put on the size this is one of my favorites i'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you because every time you get her like you know what they say like um a little goes a long way or something like that or some analogy or statement or whatever it's called you barely see her but when you do it's just like wow i have a great looking snake and you know she's a pretty cool dude i ain't gonna sit here and lie to you like not at all yeah it's just cool to just just look at her and just chill with her because i never get to you know what i'm saying she's so elusive and slippery well, she's not really slippery, but like, if she want to get away, she damn sure can get away. She is, she's thick, but boy, can she move. <laughs> boy, can she move. God dang. It's been about a good two or three weeks since I got her. And today was just today. So I'm just glad she's cooperating too. She don't usually bite at all. Like, she never bit me. Some people say like their viper boas always bite but i just i guess i just got lucky because medusa don't bite oh yeah um they said apollo bites like well not apollo but like solomon island tree boas they usually bite but impala doesn't bite the only snake that i have that usually bites me is calypso and calypso is just a jerk like there's no if ands or buts he wants to eat, he feels defensive, he's always scared. She's just a gem, man. Like, I'm so glad I got her, cause I'm like, look at her, look at her. Since I had her, um, she went through a color change uh, when I got her and when and like, I will say like two months ago, a month or two months ago. But right now she's like this color, but her last shed, she was more of a light brownish tannish color, if that makes sense. But it's just crazy how the whole Candodia species, they can just change their color whenever they want to. I don't see Medusa enough to see if like she changes her color like how Apollo does, where, you know, one day she can be really dark, but the other day she can be really light. I don't really see her like that, so I can't really tell. She's just trying to dig. I'm so sorry, girl. I'm gonna put you back in. But yeah, this is her. I just wanted you to, you know, chill, talk, and talk about a little bit of Medusa, you know, and just, you know, just vibe, you know what I'm saying? And right now we just vibing. Well, she's like kind of scared, but like she's not she's not defensive. She's just being curious, kind of. I mean, I'm seeing I'm seeing long tongue flicks, but I think she's just trying to get away. So I'm gonna go put her back up, and we're gonna talk about her a little bit more after this. But like, um, two to three feet is like her max size especially the females getting bigger than the males. So the males would be like a foot and a half, two feet, females two to three, you know, give or take. But right now Medusa is about, last time I checked, she was almost two feet. It doesn't really look like it, but she's almost two feet, which is pretty crazy. Um, My plans for her in the future are to get a four by four by four, right? But I'm gonna have it to where Apollo 
and Medusa can be in the same enclosure. Um, doing that only because, like, for one, it's a genus. Is it genus? Yeah, genus oriented tank. And these are two animals that can be in the same range and habitat in the wild. So I'm like, shoot, why not? And plus, Medusa is only going to be fossorial and terrestrial. So that means she's going to be either burying down inside and inside the soil or she's going to be hiding under, you know, plants, her hides and stuff like that. Like she's never she's never out in the open. That's the thing. And Apollo, she's always going to be, you know, on the branches and stuff like that. She's never on the ground. So I don't know, it just makes sense. And why not have a huge enclosure with, you know, two snakes that are just beautiful and they can change colors, you know what I'm saying? And you know, that's, to me, that's, that's pretty darn cool. That's what it's all about, man. Just putting animals in these enclosures that are just beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, that's what I really strive for. Like, I really want to bring nature inside of my own home all the time. And when I can do stuff like this or that, or even a little bit of that and over there, I mean, it's not perfect. That's obviously, I mean, it's, it's decent. You know, it'll get the job done. <laughs> it'll make them snakes happy, hopefully. I don't know, but yeah, it's just, it brings me joy, you know what I'm saying? And I just hope they like it as much as, you know, I would, you know? It's giving them places to hide, interact with, new smells. There's fungus, you know, um, mushrooms and stuff like that. Like, it's just, it's an ecosystem. It's, it's natural, it's, it's life. <laughs> it's life like on some real stuff it's life remember people when life give you lemons you make hibiscus lemonade make the lemonade so good that it gives people diabetes that's what i want to end off on so you know y'all have a great day be safe much love thank you for watching to all the people that watch i appreciate it like, no joke, thank you.